Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. What? Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, we gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be, follow me on IG. Vada underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi, yeah, yeah. Bruh, this whole smack and av, av and smack, I've been seeing and hearing a lot of whisperings and rumblings, and I even got a few phone calls about this whole situation. So, I just watched Smack's interview on Hip Hop Is Real, Salute to Hip Hop Is Real and everything that they do, etc, etc. And I could, I could tense the, sense the tension getting thicker than German guard dogs. Radio! I had to get the feel, I had to get the feel. So, okay. I mean, you know what I mean, to somebody speak to me personally, then, you know what I mean, it's like, I just feel he want to do what he want to do, so I'm going to let him do what he want to do and just wish him the best. This, just give me back what's mine, like, you know what I mean, or, or what I what I put out, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, unfinished business we have, and then we good. You can go Guard do dogs, Um, and there's a lot of different perspectives about this. So here we have Av, who's been on URL for, you know, some years. And now he wants to be free to do his own thing. Situation here because this this is the thing we were talking about why I wasn't around, why I haven't been around. Like I I know the phone conversations I had with who I had, and I and, and I've just left it there. And I'm saying if if I'm not gonna be booked, there's no sense in me being in the way. And so, you don't got love for that right no more. Oh no, I absolutely will, and I do, and I will continue. Like one monkey don't stop the show. What I'm saying is, if 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 I'm not going to be active over there, then let me just step aside. You go ahead on with your other talent. It ain't just like we're not. I still have a a, a battle on on paper to do with you are real. Like, reasons that, that you can't control you that. why you're not active yeah. over there. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. All right, we got we got a whole ass interview being conducted here too. And the man get his point off real quickly, nicely and succinctly, and then afterwards we can ask questions if he likes to entertain them. I have it on you. No, I'm saying there's definitely it's definitely reasons. You know, I, I spoke with who I needed to speak with. I know what's going on. Um, you know, like about the same thing I told them. Look, I'll step out the way. You know what I mean? Let me let me finish up when I need to finish up and I'll move out the way. And that's just where I'm at with it. I, I stand on that. Because there's a lot of things that go on that has been going on, and you know me, I don't, I don't complain too much. I don't, you know, be ranting and shit like that. Like I'm saying, I just be like, right, I roll with the punches because I'm, I'm appreciative of what's been happening in my career. But it comes a time, man, you just gotta stop playing with grown folks like that. Like I just, I just feel like I need to step out, step out the way because I, I, I don't want it to be a disrespectful situation. I, I don't have no problems with those guys and nothing like that. It's just I just don't feel like that's what's best for me right now. I'm a, I want to finish up with what I got going on over there, and then I'm gonna move out of the way. That's it. What do you? And just venture out into the world. Like you see a lot of artists. There are a lot of artists who are able to just battle wherever they want, go to whatever league. If they want to battle on Rare Breed, if they want to battle on King of the God, if they want to battle on Mom and Pop Battle League, they can do whatever they want, whenever they want. A lot of those guys are tenured long-term guys that have been battling forever. You've seen Cal, DNA, Charlie Clips, Goods. These guys could just move freely because they were there when the infrastructure got built. You can't tell me where to park my car when I was here, unless you put a street sign up. You can't tell me where I could park my car if I was here before you even built the building, you know what I'm saying? Unless you put a sign in front. And a sign in front for URL now is basically uh, their business, they practice in their business model. Some people agree with it, some people don't agree with it as far as with these talents. So, um, URL wants exclusivity. Wants you to sign, be with their league for a couple years at a time. Some people say two, some people say five. I don't know how many years these contracts are. I'm sure every situation is different. Now, they're doing with a no competition clause where it's like, yo, if you sign the URL, you can't battle on Rare Breed, you can't battle on King of the Dot, and all this other shit, right? So, Av now is trying to venture off and do his own thing. So, I, I, there's so many different variables, and like I said, I didn't speak to either side, because there's really, I, I just see what, what's being said. Now, I watched Av's interview with uh, Three Letterman, salute so Three Letterman and everything he's got going on, um, where he was basically saying, you know, he's not here for the politics, he don't want to joke around, they got their stars, their chosen guys. So, here's what I see, right? 
Ab is in a position where he wants to leave URL. URL basically in Smack's interview is saying, give me back what you owe. That's money. That, 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 these niggas don't wear the same size. They're not sharing sneakers. They're not sharing hats. They're not wearing, Ab don't owe Smack a pair of glasses. This is money. This is financial. You never even see Smack really even speak on artists. If he's speaking on an artist and they're saying straight like that at the end of the video interview and saying, I want my, like, give me what you owe. We can read through that. You know what I'm saying? So what it seems like, Av has been contracted for battles on URL, you know what I'm saying? And from what I heard, it's been more than one battle. And be that as it may, there's a process that these battles use to be booked. You know, niggas get booked for battles. I'm sure bread has been sent out. And Smack is probably looking at it like, if you want to leave, you can leave. Just give me my paper back. He didn't say those specific words, but if you look at the clip, this is what I'm getting from you. Give me my bread back and you can go where you want. Um, for Av, it's like, I like what Av does. Av's always been talented to me. I like what he does as an MC. I like, love some of his earlier battles. Some of his later work is fire too. Him versus Real Sick. And I'm sure he'll find his way in the world. If he continues to battle, I'm sure he'll find his way. I'm sure he can get Big K on RBE or Bill Collector, Rosenberg Raw, uh, whoever they got over there, he already battled Ill Will. And I heard Ill Will's going back to URL. That's what I heard. If, you, if Ill Will signs back with URL, he's not going to be able to battle on Rare Breed. That shit is over. Like, it's over. So, um, for Av, uh, I look at it like this. He's probably seen more than once people come along, get big, get the notoriety, the level of superstardom that he probably is seeking. That of uh, Gishi Gotti, that of uh, Easy to Block Captain. Now, I'm not saying he wants to be them, but he's seeing how big they have gotten in their prospective careers. And when you see somebody's career take off, and yours, you know, you're doing your thing, but you ain't getting those big summer madness plates. Easy got a battle with Murder Moon. Yeah, it didn't happen, but he was booked for it. You know what I'm saying? Av still hasn't even battled Aver. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, like, like, the battles that he be wanting to get and the names that he be wanting to get, they just don't give them to him. Now, I don't know the reason why. I ain't involved. I don't get involved with the daily politics of battle rap. I just come on, speak my shit, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easier that way. Because when you're involved and your hands is in and you compromise, whatever the case may be, motherfucker gonna call you, say, oh, you did this, or you said that, take that blog down. That shit ain't happening over here. I'm gonna just drop everything and it's gonna, the chips gonna fall where they may. You know what I'm saying? Pop the rice, I'm not excited. No, pop's divided, I'm not excited. Salute to um, Hollow the Dawn for the sweater too. So, yeah, this is where it goes now. So Av is like, you know, he don't want to be on URL no more. URL is basically like, the word that I got, because like I said, I spoke to some people, URL don't even want the battles. They do not want the battles that Av owes. I don't know if it's three, two, one, however many battles he owes, they do not want them. They just want their bread back. So when people talk about the Chrome 23 thing, uh, Av was saying that he caught flat for battling on Chrome 23. You know, and a lot of other people battle on Chrome 23 too. So I, I had tweeted that originally, like, why would he catch flack for doing that over there if he, you know what I'm saying, if, if other niggas was doing it? Like, what's good for the goose should be good for the gander. Why can't he battle on, on um, Remy Ma shit? No, what they're saying, you know, because they don't, a lot of these niggas don't want to, they ain't jumping out there in the forefront, putting the word out, this is what's going on and shit like that. Um, it's like we wanted him to battle official on URL, he didn't battle official, but then he's on Queen of the Rings, I mean, um, salute to Queen of the Rings. He's on Remy Ma shit, battling a female, and um, the word allegedly, and this is all allegedly, he didn't want to battle a female, but he battled a female over there. So it just got mad. And at the end of the day, this is all allegedly. I don't have no definitive of who said, who did what. I don't know what ad if, I don't know if, he definitively owes a certain amount or whatever the case may be, but you could hear in what Smack is saying. You don't, I don't have to be a psychologist to see through the fact that it's, it's, it's about bread. Like you give me what you owe and you can go. Nigga, we know what that means. I know what it means. If you don't know what it means, you can see through that. But I really do wish the best for all parties involved. I don't know who's advising who. I don't know who's giving who to, yo, you should do this or yo, you should do that. Uh, at the end of the day, I, I've always felt like these guys are all contracted workers. They contracted, they get paid, they do a service, and they go on about their business. But uh, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of it's kind of different to see it going down like this because I didn't expect uh, a smack to actually come out and speak about 
Av, you know what I'm saying? Give me what you owe and all this other, like, I was like, what? Like, this shit came kind of from left field. But I do wish the best for all parties involved. Av did have a pretty good run on URL uh, from his chess battle to being on Summer Madness to taking a lot of um, other battles on the league and making his moves and getting big. But I will say this. I always felt like a league and an artist should work hand in hand like towards their success. Um, Easy the Black Captain, for instance, made a lot of moves on his own. And these guys, that's the problem. And I'm not saying that exactly, specifically what happened, but a lot of people will just battle, sit down for eight months, and then the next time you see them is on the next card. A lot of y'all is not good enough to just battle every four months or every five months and stay relevant. That shit don't work. Like, you have to be making moves. A lot of these guys got clothes, got shows, got uh, like, you know, TV, uh, caffeine and YouTube, like shows, like even Goods and DNA, like all of these niggas is doing shows because they have to stay relevant. You have to keep moving. And these guys are legends. A lot of them got shows, a lot of them got music, a lot of them got merchandise, a lot of them are doing appearances, a lot of them are just trying to find Easy to Block Captain on Fresh Prince and acting. Like you have to do more. Like being a good rapper is not good enough. There's very few that could just rap, show up and leave and then I'll be back in three months to pick up another bag. No, like the, the biggest guys are doing more than just rapping. Rod got a show, uh, Surf was doing music, Free Him and all of that, you know what I'm saying, Sharon and all them doing wilding out and you gotta have multiple streams of income. Proper perspective puts everything in its proper place. Um, I do wish, seriously, like I fuck with Av, I wish him all the best and everything that he's got going on. Uh, I hope that, you know, it turns out well for him in whatever decision it is that he makes. But I cannot act like I didn't see Smack in the interview basically saying, you can, you know what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, fulfill your obligation. <laughs> he don't talk like that. Niggas been watching Smack for 15 years easily from the DVD era to now. I've never seen him really jump on camera. I've seen him say, you know what I'm saying, I'm not eating that B. And you know what I'm saying, different, different quotables. But... For him to say, and that's straight like that, like, he's taking your slogan and using that. Um, whew, that's a lot. That's a lot to unpack. Uh, but what I will say is salute to Av, salute to Smack. Um, I hope they can work it out as formidable as possible. Uh, like I said, I definitely have been getting phone calls. Y'all be thinking, y'all niggas really be thinking that these niggas don't talk to bloggers or they don't fuck with this person, they don't fuck with that. Please do not get that shit gassed up because a lot of these bigger entities they can't speak for themselves. They cannot. A lot of these companies, they can't say what they want. They can't jump out there and just, yo, this nigga bugging, blah, blah, blah. They can't do that. But we can. The bloggers can. The ones with the huge platforms can. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's very few people. It's maybe five people in the world that could jump on camera, talk about battle rap, and don't have a battle rapper sitting right next to them that people are going to watch. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know how hard it is? Like, a lot of y'all, obviously, y'all know how hard it is to get 10,000, 15, 20,000 people to just sit there and watch you talk about battle rap without a battle rapper there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, it's true. I've been hearing this in recent days. A lot of niggas, it's true. If they don't got a battle rapper right there with them, or, you know what I'm saying, or, or a clip, or, or a space, or something, niggas is not going to watch it. Because they're not, they, they ain't there for them. They're there for what you can 